Hi there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Show. Today's topic is, are you as romantic as your partner? Now this causes a lot of problems in relationships and can be one of the biggest reasons that people split up. The reason for that is because if you start out being super loving and affectionate, you're on the same sexual wavelength with your partner, things look great. Things are smooth, you're, you're enjoying being with each other because you're on an equal sort of, you know, even libido keel. But if you change as time goes by, which happens a lot, I mean, it's the first thing that people complain about, you know, you get married and there goes your sex life. It's not gonna happen anymore. Because people become complacent. It's not necessarily that the sex life is not going to happen, but people get lazy in making it happen. They're not as romantic. So it's really important that when you are choosing a life partner, that you are on a pretty similar path when it comes to what you have as expectations in the love and romance department. And it's very, very important to keep talking about it throughout your relationship. Don't let it just fade away because you've gotten to the point where you're comfortable with each other. Never ever get that comfortable. Seriously, listen to me, don't get that comfortable. You want to always have romance in your relationship because that's what will keep everything flowing for years to come. Ignoring that part, which so many people do, it blows me away. Why do people think that it's okay just to pretend that it, they're not interested or they're just really not interested and, and that that's just the way it is and get over it. Nobody has to get over anything in a relationship. And I'm telling you, it is one of the first things that causes problems. So if you stop being romantic and you were on an even keel with your partner in the beginning and you stop or they stop, how is that gonna be a nice smooth transition in your partnership? It's going to be so off balance and lopsided because one person's feeling like the other person doesn't care. And so it's not a nice way to sort of come home every night that you know your partner's really not that interested or they've just lost that loving feeling, if, if you want to use that term. So when you first meet somebody, make sure it's not a pretend situation, that they really are that romantic person, that they're showing you they are and vice versa don't you pretend just to to please them for the time because if you end up staying together for a long time with each other you're, you're giving yourself to them under false pretense and that's not fair so when you first meet somebody make sure you're on board and on the same pathway that you want in the love and romance department it's so important and people just think that after a few years, so well, it's not going to be that way. Why is marriage the butt of jokes when it comes to, you know, no sex anymore? Because this happens way more often than it should. So I'm here to tell you that it's very important. And as a mature woman, I know this. Yes, we get bored sometimes. We see the same face every day. So you have to make it interesting. You've got to add some playtime. And I mean fun playtime. Don't be, you know, just always the same old person all the time. Just keep inventing new things and bring romance in. Do little things for each other that make them feel good. Dress sexy, you know? There's so much I could talk, this could be a two hour video. Anyway, I just wanted to put that one out there so that all of you can just sort of get that, that few minutes of what I'm trying to say here because it is one of the most important things to keep any relationship flourishing and alive. Don't let it go. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue and I ask you as always to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all my new subscribers. I really appreciate your support. Thanks everyone. Bye.